So it says what number should be added to uh, both sides of the equation to complete the square. So this is one. So I have x squared plus 8x equals 4. I think I've done this problem as well before. But in order for me to complete the square again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, uh, place 4, uh, basically put 4 here into uh, into this left side here, so it equals 0 here. So we have 8x squared plus 8x minus 4 equals 0. In order for, to com for me to complete the square, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this b term. So I take this b term here. So here's my b term. I'm going to divide it by 2, and I'm going to square it here. So that's going to make my perfect square trinomial. So 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 squared would equal 16. So that, that's the magic number I'm going to use here. So x squared plus 8x. I'm going to plus 16 here, minus 16, minus 4 here equals 0, right? So my plus 16 minus 16, I'm simply just adding, adding a 0. But in this case, this creates my perfect square trinomial here, right? So this is what I care about here. So this, again, this here entire thing is my perfect square trinomial. So this here simply just equals x plus 4 squared, right? x plus 4 squared would be like x squared plus 8x plus, plus 16. And then minus 16 minus 4 would be obviously negative 20 here. So minus 16 minus 4 equals 20. This would equal 0. And finally, I would bring the 20 back to this side here. So I have x plus 4 squared equals positive 20. So as you can compare from basically this formula to this formula, I'm adding 16 to both sides in order for me to complete the square. So the solution is correct. Number 16 must be added on both sides to complete the square. They got the exact same solution as I did here. The solution is correct. <clears throat> Good explanation.